Hi everybody and welcome back to the basketball edition of the huddle. I'm Ruth Lang here with sports editor Mike Brown and it's tournament time. Uh, the girls in our immediate area districts mm -hmm. unfortunately have already all been ousted yeah. by their opponents. Uh, mm -hmm. The only one we have left sort of in our coverage area yeah, is Minerva, right. you yeah, said right. Eastern District. Yeah. And they'll play uh, Saturday night, Ruth. Uh, you know, they got a win over Morgan's Raiders uh, in the district semifinals. So they'll play for a district title, a Division II district title, Saturday night uh, against Millersburg West Holmes, who has, you know, it's tradition steeped. You know, they were at state last year. They have a lot of those players back. So, you know, Minerva's going to have to really play well on Saturday night. But, you know, they've had a great tournament run to get to this point. So who knows what could happen? Mm hmm uh, so for the boys, we still have four teams, four area teams mm -hmm. in it who are battling. Right. That's Sebring, Alliance, West Branch, and Marlington. Sebring um, edged out Western Reserve on yeah. Tuesday, mm -hmm. um, and they beat that team in both their regular season games, so that was right. a solid um, way to end the season mm -hmm. there against that team for Sebring. Yeah, that game was a lot closer than we thought it was going to be. You know, Sebring was home on Tuesday night against Western Reserve, and we kind of thought that might be one-sided. Well, you know, we overlooked the fact that those two are rivals. And when you have rivals, you, it's like the old saying, you never know. You can throw the records out the window. And that turned out to be the case. Is that was a very close game with Sebring getting the win. Um, a couple other teams had overtime wins. Mm -hmm. Alliance beat Talmadge in overtime um, in their Division II sectional semifinal. Mm -hmm. uh, and then West Branch beat Niles McKinley in a double overtime uh, in their Division II sectional semifinal. Right. The Alliance game was a little closer than we thought, but really when you look back, Talmadge plays in a, an excellent league. They play a lot of Division One and Division Two teams in the regular season in their league. And, uh, you know, Alliance definitely had the better record. Alliance was playing at home, and we thought that that would be a one-sided game, and that turned out to be a, a close game won by the Aviators, thank goodness, in overtime. Uh, so, uh, you know, they move on. Now, Alliance was scheduled to play again on Friday night of this week. They were supposed to play Akron Bookdale, but because Alliance is the home of the Division II District Wrestling Tournament on Friday and Saturday night, they had to move that sectional title game to next Monday night at Alliance at 7 o'clock. So that'll be a little bit of a change compared to the other area teams. Uh, and then getting back to West Branch, you know, I covered that game on uh, Tuesday night. That was a thriller. West Branch was down by as many as six points late, rallied back to tie that game, and then sent it into two overtimes where they won 90, uh, 94 to 86 in that game. And in that game, TJ DeShields had a great game, 22 points. Uh, Jeremy Gorby, the center, had 18 points and what they think is a school record, 22 rebounds in that game. So uh, West Branch and Alliance uh, will move on to play uh, in sectional title games. And also Ruth uh, Marlington, who took a bye uh, in the first round of the sectional, we'll play for a sectional title Friday night uh, in Akron against the Akron Coventry Comets, who are a very good basketball team. They they handed Alliance one of its only two losses in the regular season, so yeah, we've got that going on this week. Okay, so we'll have coverage for you as always, uh, both online and in print. So follow us there, and until next time, we'll see you on the court.